what is it that spirit most wants for you to know? Let's find out right now and right here. Hey Earth Angels, Melanie Buckler here and in this pick a card reading we are going to tune in to what you most need to know right now. And so diving right in, I invite you to join me in taking a deep and relaxing breath and just become fully present here and now as I now call in each of our teams of guides, angels, and ascended masters of the highest, most benevolent light. Please connect with me directly and with each of us together as one with what we most need to know now, with what will most serve in the highest interest of all. And so it is. Pick a card, one, two, or three, or you can just watch the entire reading. Though if you'd like to jump ahead, I will put the time stamps in the description below and be sure to subscribe for more great videos. All right, card number one. The angels want you to know that you are stronger than you realize. You have access to an infinite inner wellspring of peace power and light. It's time to stop trying to get energy from the external. Use Archangel Michael's sword of light to cut the cords towards things that are lowering your, lowering your vibration and pulling your energy away. To reconnect with the inner truth of your vibrant light that you've always had within but that it's time to let rise to the surface more and more in your life. You've perhaps gotten a little thrown off balance and that's okay but you can here and now return to a state of harmony where you choose love and joy from moment to moment letting love and joy be a powerful guide which in turn changes the resonance of your vibrational energy field so your energy coming into a state of love and joy changes what you manifest and attract in the external. We're living through a powerful dimensional divide. So people on the same planet experiencing the same events in the world are experiencing things in a drastically different way. An example of this is I could be sitting here with a friend in nature, in this beautiful forest, and I'm connecting with the tree and tuning into awe and gratitude for the nature and the beautiful energy that's all around. And perhaps the friend is here thinking about the, the struggles with their job, thinking about the challenges going on in the world. Both experiences are valid, but the angels want you to know that you can choose which of these dimensions of experience you're tuning into moment to moment and when you let love and joy be your guide when you commit to doing more of the things that light you up and recharge you you are effectively choosing that higher dimensional experience and choosing the higher octave of possibility for your life these things align you with the healing you seek, with the healing you've perhaps called forth. So in that sense, the strength card is also a reminder that the energy, the vitality, the strength in, o in order to overcome obstacles on your healing journey is here and love and joy not only opens you up to the presence of angels, to the support and guidance and further assistance from your team in spirit, but it really allows that healing light to emerge. So you're stronger than you realize, you've been through a lot of challenge, but now when you commit to what lights you up, to following the path of joy and love, you truly align with the highest divine timeline and the highest divine possibilities for you, which allows an influx of healing light and which allows you to begin riding the waves of cosmic light and transformation that are streaming in onto the planet 
Start writing them instead of getting slammed by the waves onto the shore as you perhaps have been leading up until this point. So what can you do to cultivate an inner harmony? What are the things that recharge you and light you up? Not only are the angels encouraging you to do these things so that you can experience more joy and love, but they want you to know that these things are imperative to empowering, to allowing the universe to open the flow of healing energies so they flow through to you. So I hope this was helpful for you. Check out angelintuitioncourse.com for more about opening that link with your guides and angels. Card number two. The angels want you to remember that ascension is real, that you are on the ascension path. You are in the process of going within to remember and awaken more of the truth of the divine being you authentically are. And in this, there is truly a waterfall of divine love, of energy, of frequency, downloads of higher divine consciousness pouring down all around you. But it's up to you to quiet the ego mind, to quiet the chatter of mind and the dominance of lower consciousness in order to tune in to stillness. Because stillness is truly the key to ascending up the staircase of light, to enter in to the inner world, to access the field of pure potentiality where infinite possibility resides and where what you seek is seeking you. Get to that place to allow the veil between you and the higher dimensions to drop, to allow the remembrance of your soul mission, purpose, and gifts to arise, to allow the blessings the divine is bestowing upon you to be accessed by you. It's time to quiet your mind. Um, this is a pen and paper. If you're having trouble quieting your mind, do a purge, a mental purge. Literally write down everything that's bouncing around in your head. Everything you have going on. What you have to do later today. What, what he said, what she said, what they said. What happened when you were watching the news. What happened when you went to the store. Write it all down to let it go. And then let yourself truly let go, let go of thought, let go of worry, and just enter in to that inner stillness of peace and calm to receive the waterfall of divine love and blessings that are shining down all around you, just waiting for you to tune in. This allows you to connect with divine inspiration as to what you can do now to take your very next steps to step up and step in to being of service at a higher level. And this commitment to being of service is a core facet of your ascension path, a core facet of you claiming your mastery. Because the more you're able to put the knowledge and wisdom gained through your ascension journey to service in the world, the more the gifts blossom and the more the highest divine timeline for your ascension path is able to unfold. This is about going within because in that inner state you can then ride the divine elevator up to embody more of the truth and magnificence of who you are and it's time to let this light shine not only for your benefit but in service of the all in the highest interest of all in the world. You're here to be a way shower, you're here to make a difference, and it's time to let that inner light and truth vibrantly and radiantly shine. Check out angelintuitioncourse.com for more about opening up the flow of divine guidance in your life. Okay, card number three. The angels want you to remember that they are guiding you. And you have received guidance about what is possible for you on the next phase and the next level of your life. Okay, something else about this. This girl on the card is in nature. I'm in nature. Nature is a powerful ally that can help you to remember 
and help you to tune in to the higher divine intelligence and guidance available to you moment to moment. Get out in nature and tune into the beauty of the natural world around you. To tune in with awe, with gratitude, with reverence. Tuning into the miracle of a single leaf. The incredible fractal design of a pine cone covered in pine needles. The beauty of the natural world around you. When you begin to tune in and perceive that in nature, it changes your vibrational point of resonance so you're able to perceive more of the beauty that is all around you. And this is really about receiving the guidance as to how you can truly step up and into blossom into the next level of your divine light work. It's time to be the change you wish to see in the world. It's time to do your work, which includes just embodying, embodying that higher vibration, raising your vibration and shining in alignment and integrity with more of the divine light being you are. But then from that place of clarity and connection grounded to the earth and anchored to the infinite above, focusing in on your intentions, focusing in on hitting that bullseye for what you want to create and allow yourself to feel the joy of having incredible blessings realized in your life as you accomplish your mission, as you step into being the leader, the way shower, doing your divine light work in the world. And the final piece is to then cut the cords and sever the ties with the things that are keeping you small, with the things that are keeping you disconnected cutting the cords to past traumas and pains, to past insecurities, to lower vibrational habits. Cut the cords. I have a video here I will put on how to cut cords with help from Archangel Michael, but really it's about releasing your attachments to the things that no longer serve you. This could include completing, wrapping up, open-ended projects and things that are pulling your energy because they're in a state that's not quite done. Finish things you've been working on to create an opening to recenter and recommit to embodying the highest divine truth of you. And then from that state of embodiment, receiving the guidance for the steps you can take next. Stay focused on that North Star, that bright vision for what's truly possible for you to create in this life and laser focused on what you're creating, then embark and take steps. Remembering that one moment at a time with each step you take, there's new guidance available from the angels to help you navigate through and to help you access higher levels of your soul wisdom and brilliance in this life. I hope this was helpful for you. Check out angelintuitioncourse.com for more about opening to receive direct angel messages, divine guidance, and downloads of incredible love that are available to you right here and now. I love, honor, and appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.